Okay, what's up, guys? So as we are learning, the tag-based trigger in Zapier has um, evolved in terms of the way that uh, it's firing or the way that it's allowing us to configure. And obviously, it's not showing all of the, the tags here. It's only showing a batch of them, and then we have to reload them. And um, if you create a new tag, it doesn't always show up. And so this is becoming increasingly complicated to, uh, to sort out. So what I'm going to do here is switch this trigger. Um, it is currently tag added to contact. I'm using the legacy one, um, but I'm going to switch it first to tag added to contact here and show you the difficulty. And then ultimately, I'm going to replace the zap uh, or the, the trigger for this zap with an HTTP post uh, or a webhook um, so that we, we can fire this more reliably. So first, let's switch to tag added to contact, and I'll show you uh, why this is a problem. Um, we choose our, our account here. Uh, and then we go to find the tag, right? And it's our meet Greg tag was the name of the tag, and, and it's not here. Uh, so I can check infusions up and reload. I can, you know, clear this, and, and we can see, yeah, there's a bunch of tags, and um, OG subscriber webinar. Uh, if I reload a couple of times, uh, I think Devin's video was, was kind of indicating that it could bring up more. Uh, but even so, you know, I'm, I'm not easily finding the tag that I need. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's that's not going to work for me um, in the short term. So what I've been doing instead is switching this to a web hook. And uh, it's a catch hook. And um, and then it uh, I don't do anything with this particular section here. This is optional. Uh, so I just skip over that. Um, and then here it gives us this URL. Um, for where this is the, the um, post URL that we're going to send the information to. Um, and it's waiting for us to actually test this. So um, where the tag was previously being applied, um, well, actually, the tag was being applied in a number of different campaigns, um, but it was effectively taking people from other campaigns and launching them into here, uh, which is my like meet Greg sequence, my, my own like version of an indoctrination sequence or welcome sequence. Um, so all I need to do is add an HTTP post at the very beginning of this uh, because uh, I was using the application of this tag to fire this zap. So now what I'm going to do is just say anytime this tag is applied, right, it triggers this sequence. And the first thing that happens in here is launch AU sort zap. And uh, we just pop that post URL in here. And then the only thing we need to do is just make sure that we are sending whatever variables we want the zap to use. So I believe in this one, the only thing I'm using is email address. Um, and I'm actually just going to send it with uh, my email address, monkeypodmarketing.com.au. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why in just a second, but I'll, I'll just send this for now. And we can do a test post. There we go. Uh, and the reason we do that is is just for uh, Zapier to receive that information. So I, now I can click OK, uh, and it should receive the post and and have some information that we can then use for the remainder of the steps. So, OK, and there we go. Our test was successful. So we can view the hook. Uh, you can see it sent through the contact ID. Um, that's actually my user ID, which is why I often will use a, a static value for testing just because I'm going to need that here. So then you just would go through the remainder of your steps and uh, make sure that it is filtering uh, using, yeah, the appropriate contact. Uh, so this would be the email, textcontains.com.au. Uh, and uh, the zap would have worked. The filter worked. So then here I need to update uh what's coming from or what fields i'm using so catch hook email um opt-in yes and then we're tagging them here with aussie um uh, if their email address contains dot com dot au so that's all that this app is doing and uh you know now i have successfully <clears throat> i don't think the test is going to work because that contact record doesn't actually exist uh, so, or maybe it'll create the contact. Yeah. Um, so all I need to do is mark this as ready. And now I've got my, my new catch hook triggering this zap. Uh, we got the filter still in place and the last step is, is identical. Uh, but instead of depending on a tag based trigger, 
Um, I've got a more reliable trigger that is a HTTP post that I can I can call whenever I need to. An additional benefit for using this is that those will fire immediately, whereas the tag triggers, um, they only fire, I think, every five or 15 minutes, depending on the version of Zapier you have. Now, the challenge here is that uh, if you need to apply a tag, right, you're probably going to run into the same challenges here in terms of which tags are displayed and refreshing them. So I don't have a great workaround for applying the tag, uh, but at least for triggering the zap, uh, the catch hook has been has been pretty reliable for me. So hopefully that helps you as well. Later.